Hey there, everybody. Arlo's here from Ice Games, bringing you episode 131 of my Star Wars The Old Republic Sith Assassin Let's Play with Hazras here on Odessen. Uh, about to do chapter 16, The Battle of Odessen. And oh my gosh, just the name of that makes me, make me excited. I'm really excited to see how this, uh, this goes. Oh my gosh, the last episode was insane. With, uh, with Scorpio essentially ascending uh, somehow and taking the eternal throne and, and, and it's just, I didn't expect that to happen. <laughs> oh my God. So she kind of betrayed us. So she's no longer a available character. She's down here with Darth Mar, uh, who was killed, uh, Koth who left us the exiled officer. Oh, I like that it's called the exiled officer. Maybe it was the exiled officer for that because he did, uh, was an officer for, um, Zakulian, uh, Zakul. Uh, and then Scorpio, the evolving AI, has been, uh, uh, I, I don't know what's going on. It's, it's crazy. She's, what, Scorpio's death was a ruse. True to her nature, Scorpio, Scorpio achieved her objective, betrayed you, and claimed the Eternal Throne. So she has officially claimed the Eternal Throne. I'm kind of excited to see how this, uh, goes. But before that, I want to go over some comments from, uh, last week. Uh, so Michael Coffey said, glad to hear I'm going to be coming back to your schedule so you don't burn out so fast. Oh, thank you for that. Uh, hopefully I, will, I don't plan on burning out anytime soon, so which is awesome. Uh, he also mentioned which gives uh, more you and your content uh, for longer and longer. So win-win for everyone. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for that. Uh, again, having so much fun with this Let's Play. I'm glad you and the wife are having so much fun with this Let's Play series. And uh, again, if you guys have been playing Star Wars, I'd love to play some Star Wars with you. Uh, it'll be a lot of fun. But uh, yeah... Um, uh, you also mentioned doing a uh, first impressions review of the new DLC. I probably, I don't know exactly how I'm going to do it. Uh, it's a really good idea. Um, but uh, I'll probably do a, a video soon of like the changes in Onslaught. Uh, and then the story content for like Onslaught I'll probably just play as, as a normal Let's Play. And then maybe maybe doing like small reviews of each of the DLC. So I've already played through Rise of the Cartel. Um, and the, I can never remember the name of the Revan one. Uh, the Revan one, and then I'm just about to finish, or getting close to finishing, uh, if I go to do, 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 chapters, um, Fallen Empire, this is the last chapter of the Fallen Empire one, and then we go into the Eternal Throne, which is technically two separate uh, DLCs, I believe, and then I think there's like Jedi Under Siege, and then Onslaught, so I might do smaller, uh, like a small little video just of that specific DLC, telling you how I liked it, stuff like that, but uh, let me know what you guys think, would you guys like to see that? Uh, it could be a lot of fun. Could uh, test my editing skills and stuff like that too. So thank you so much uh, for the suggestion there. Um, also, the comment from Dollar Sphere, Dollar Sphere saying, "Wow, what a turn of events with Scorpio." Uh, you wonder if that was planned all along in regards to the companion influence, uh, or sorry, one of you planned all along in regards to the companion influence. Uh, you mentioned that it only takes about five minutes to get to level ten with three legacy paps from the legacy. Um, person that sells, I believe she sells it in the cantina. Uh, inside the cantina, there's someone that sells, um, uh, can I go to vendor? Yeah, I think she sells it, uh, some stuff. I, th I think that's what you mean. Uh, buying a bunch of packs from her, and you can rank them up to level level 10. So might, might, might end up doing that sometime soon, because as you guys can see, most of my companions are really low level. My highest level is Zoom, or Zoom. Uh, and then, uh, Lana, and then I've got, like, Blitz and, uh, Kwaizen that, you know, I had to be 10 before I could get them even, even, so, uh, yeah, they're not, not very high, so I gotta, I gotta work on that. So thank you for letting me know about that, and I'll definitely be doing that in the future. Probably not on recording, but I'll go through and maybe just spend a bunch, but I, how am I doing for money? Ah, I got, like, over 2 million credits, so I should be fine. Uh, so thank you for that. Also, a comment from Darth Radness saying, uh, you knew you'd enjoy this chapter of the story, uh, with Scorpio Twist. Uh, it's how, uh, you were when you played the first part. Uh, any reason why, uh, you love Scorpio, uh, another reason why you love Scorpio, because she's so calculating smart, even if a bit ruthless. Yeah, yeah, she's pretty intense, so I, I, it, I didn't see it coming. Uh, I didn't expect it, and again, now that that happened, anyone can go, anyone can die, I'm actually kind of worried. Anything can happen, I've lost two companions so far, so I'm, I'm, I don't know what's gonna happen next. Uh, you don't have to apologize for having a life outside of making videos. Thank you again for again for your awesome support, guys. Uh, so go enjoy life and hang out with friends and family as much as you want, and stay healthy. I'm doing my best to stay healthy. I'm having a blast, and uh, making these making these videos actually really really helps too. It's a lot really enjoyable. This 
this is really fun for me. So I'm glad you guys are enjoying them as well. I love the, uh, the matching outfits there. That's looking pretty awesome. <laughs> so thank you to Arthur Agnes for that. Uh, also a comment from Antidor Gaming saying, Glad uh, you had fun and welcome back. I hope you had a good Halloween. I really did. I did have an amazing Halloween. Um, <laughs> get sidetracked for a second. On Halloween, uh, the city I currently live in, uh, you can't buy or use fireworks any time of the year except for Halloween. Um, so every Halloween there's just people shooting off fireworks all around the city, uh, which is really, really cool. Um, and, uh, yeah, so me and the girlfriend did a walk around uh, a little bit earlier than we did the last couple of years. We saw a bunch of kids trick-or-treating, which was really fun. Saw a lot of really cool, uh, houses decorated up. Saw some people to store, like, there was someone, like, literally, like, a, three houses down in their front yard, yard throwing up fireworks. And as we were walking around, we saw people doing it in the yard. There was someone that did it, like, right in front of us. Like, I was, like, ten feet away from someone that, uh, fireworks. So it was a lot of fun. But, uh, and then, um, there's a park by us that every year it seems like, uh, a bunch of people get together, pool a bunch of fireworks, and do like a 15 minute fireworks show in the park. So it's really, really cool. Had a lot of fun. I got to see a lot of cool costumes. I uh, didn't get any candy myself, but I bought my own candy because I'm an adult now and that's something I can do. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so I had a great Halloween. Hopefully you guys did too. And, uh, thank you guys so much for your awesome comments. And, uh, yeah, keep them coming. Love hearing from you. But uh, let's get this started. This episode started because I'm guessing this might be a longer one, too. So let's hit uh, Chapter 16, Battle for Odessa. So I got to speak with Lana Benico in the War Room. Whoop, and flip my camera around. This is to go right into the chapter, I believe. Yes. Reports indicate that Scorpio controls the majority of the Eternal Fleet, but not all. Argon's flagship still commands a sizable armada. How he's blocking Scorpio's influence, we don't know. Gemini Prime remains unresponsive. Dr. Ogorob is running tests to see if there's a connection. Scorpio will pay for her betrayal. I will disassemble her. Display the pieces and make sure her senses feel every second until my vengeance is satisfied. How very Sith of you. In this instance, I don't mind. Scorpio knows too much. We're at a disadvantage. She's made no moves against us, and without the Eternal Throne, Arkan is weakened. Do not underestimate my son. We can deal with the droid later. What's happening? Someone slicing into our communications. Who? I trust you have not forgotten me. Our partnership is incomplete. Come to beg for my forgiveness? No. But it's sweet of you to think so. This is merely a courtesy call. Arkin approaches Edison. He intends to destroy the planet by he leveled asylum. That's not possible. He doesn't know our location. I told him. I was curious to see what was more important to Arkin. Retaking the Eternal Throne, or defeating you, and in turn, his father. Seriously? Whose side are you on? Mine, of course. But that doesn't mean we are enemies. Arkan is a nuisance that must be dealt with. You are in the best position to do so. She's not lying. Massive fleet inbound. Don't get too comfortable. You're in my seat. Yet it feels like it was made for me. We can counterattack, but we'll need people here in case Arkin deploys ground troops. Commander, I'd like to stay here. Help defend the Alliance camp. I'll hang back as well. Major Paws would be lost without me. You done? Might want to leave someone else to mediate. Uh... Is 
If anyone can keep these two in line, it's a Mandalorian. I've wrangled bigger beasts. Leave it to me. Everyone else, head to the gravestone. Arkan's reign ends today. Yeah, let Torian deal with it. I won't let you die. Thank you, Zalek. Uh, Destin Planetary Shield. Um, the Alliance's first line of defense is the Odessan Planetary Shield. This defense grid protects the Alliance base and the surrounding area from a turbo laser bombardment and other aerial attacks. Although walkers and ground troops uh, can slip through, slip through the shield, the defense grid ensures the Eternal Fleet cannot wipe out the Alliance with a single devastating bombardment. The shield's construction was spearheaded by Dr. Ogarob of the Alliance's sharpest scientific mind. When Ogarob conducted early stress tests on the shield fleet, Admiral uh, Baywin uh, Argon bet that his strongest battleship could break through the fledgling defense grid. Fortunately for Orob, the shield held strong, and Baywin was is still paying off his debt. Okay, let's get the to the gravestone ship access. Looks like it's going to be right over here. And who am I going to bring with me? I'm not going to bring you. I'm going to bring. I haven't I haven't done anything with her for a while. So I will wait Lana. I like Good Lana. Uh, also, <laughs> what I find a little annoying with Lana right now. As you can see, if I go to companion, her armor is all the same color here, but in cutscenes, her um, wristbands are green. I don't like that. I don't like that they did that. <laughs> Let's head to the gravestone. I had hoped we'd get to decide when and where to fight Arkan. But you're ready for this. I'm not the same person Arkan fought on Asylum. Yes. He's in for a surprise. The Gravestone is ready to depart. Let's end this. Someone doesn't like surprises. Begin the assault. Oh, don't sulk. We'll get your throne back and teach Scorpio some manners. The machine is a distraction. I'll deal with it when the Outlander is dead. You want to see father that badly? Hmm. Think mother will come too? I'm counting on it. Oh boy. You forget the gravestone, like, even though it's just one ship against that many, it, it's it's quite powerful. An Archon ship is huge. I'm excited yeah, to see how this goes. Alright. Battle stations! Don't make me ask twice! Alright, done my part. Gravestone's as close as she can get. Take the shuttle to board Ark and ship. I'll man the Omni Cannon. Clear a path for you. Leave no ship flying. Right. Imperial tactics, then. Give Arkin my regards. Alright. Speak with the crew on the bridge. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh, go to the hangar. Okay. I'm like... I thought I saw something that said on the bridge. Okay. Keep preparing the ship, little guys. Keep doing your awesome job. You keep... Whoa, gosh. Doing what you're doing. Uh, the gravestone's not, not looking so good. 
ship always seems to be getting blown up. <laughs> Silly gravestone. Alright, where are we headed to? Oh, this way. You keep sweeping! You just ignore that explosion above your head. Like it never happened. <laughs> okay, let's head here. It's possible Arkan has a failsafe in place to destroy Odessan. The only way to ensure the planet's safety is to annihilate his ship. We're here to defeat Arkan. Don't get distracted by the pretty ship. That pretty ship has the firepower to destroy the Alliance camp with or without Arkan. While you and I head to the bridge, two strike teams will sabotage the flagship's guns and shields, leaving it vulnerable against the Omni Cannon. I'm coming with you to face my children. That's not a request. Then it's up to Vet and Galt. Who do you want to disable the guns? Um, let's have Vet disable the guns. Vet, your pirate days are about to come in handy. Big ships are easy to sneak around. Won't know I'm there until it's too late. Galt, that leaves you in charge of the shields. You know, the market for shield tech is booming. Yeah, I think Vet can sneak around the ship to take up the guns, and Galt can uh, get the shield. Clearing a path for the hangar. Should be able to punch a hole in the shield so you can land. Should? Hey, nothing's 100%. Ship, that's for sure. Okay, uh, clear the hangar of hostiles. I love these little mission parts, but like everyone's with us too. Take those sky troopers. Down more over here. Let's push those two off. Come on, team. Come on, team. Oh, we got frozen for a second. Oh, and there's a sky trooper behind us, too. Oh, I didn't mean to use that. Oh, well. Electrocute you. There we go. Let's talk with Lana again. Lana, what's up? Go. We'll cover you. Come. Before reinforcements arrive. Taking the shot. I <laughs> love this thing. No, no, don't do this! Tired already, old man? I'm not old. Something's wrong with the Omni Cannon. It won't fire. I can't tell what's happening from here. You had one job! Stop complaining and help me. Take over, short stuff. <laughs> Looks like I got here just in time. You don't think I'd just sit by and let Arkin win, do you? Don't worry. The old girl's safe on my watch. No one is safe. The gravestone least of all. Getting pretty tired of you digging around where you don't belong. You speak as though your opinion matters. You're weak, inferior, nothing. You mind? I'm trying to concentrate. You cannot stop me. And stay out. Wait, Koth's back? I'm confused. I'm glad he came back to help out, but... Outlander. 
so nice to see you. I love what you've done with the hangar. I had a lot to work with. Brother will be pleased you're in a good mood. He's been down lately. Put a smile on his face, will you? You'll find him on the bridge. You're not going to interfere? Of course not. I don't care about you. I'm here for Mother. Go on. I'll keep her busy so she can't meddle with our plans. Then meet up with you later. And if I get to Arkham before you do? Stop him. For his sake and mine. Tisk, tisk. Patience isn't a virtue. We'll do it your way, Phelan. I thought so. Run along, Outlander. If you don't kill her, I will. I can handle this. Right, so Cindy's taking on her daughter. Me and Lana are going to deal with Tora. Uh, oh, it's Tora. Tora. Even as a child, Tora had a knack for engineering and for attracting trouble. At 11, she built a miniature droid to cheat on her math exam and another to hurl dirt at a classmate who ratted her out. Uh, she was promptly suspended in placing counseling for to treat her uh, antisocial behavior. And that also had Tora's short career as a swoop racer. Ended on Nar Shaddaa when she attempted to cheat by repurposing thermal detonators into thermal boosters. Uh, the track was destroyed and several races were injured. The detonators backfired and exploded mid-race. Tora uh, was miraculously ejected from the wreckage, but the swoop racers pulled their credits and placed a bounty on her head. Uh, forced to flee hut space, Tora offered her engineering services of her ship. Uh, Captain leaving the moon? Uh, cough. Okay, so she's back, though. Or cough's back, though. Did not expect that. We can probably strike here on these guys, sure, why not? It's available, might as well use it. There we go, that's down. Uh, where am I heading to? This way? I'm guessing it's gonna be this way. For some reason, I think it's gonna be left. Oh, maybe not. Okay, let's go right then. Let's go right. That's a good do way you think to go. Senya is capable of killing her own daughter? Gosh, I will tell. It does make a habit of doing so. I really hope, I really hope Senya has the gall to take out her own daughter. What it looks like? Oh, it's good. Okay. Like, it looks like there's a connection here, but there's no door there. Okay, let's head this way. Maybe here. Discover deployment terminal. Offerings of cool weapons and armor. Or defense turrets. Uh, let's choose the turrets. Eternal flagship. Uh, commissioned by Valkyrie. Oh, never mind. Never mind. I'm under attack by. Oh, oh! Portable missile turret. Oh, we get to drop down little turrets. Cool! Portable sentry turret. That is awesome! So we get little turrets we have to put down. So we get a sentry turret, a carbonite turret, and a missile turret. Cool. Alright, so let's head out here then. It's a minute cooldown. Not too long of a cooldown. Some enemies here. What are they? Usually this means- oh, what? Oh, they're attacking the sentry- the turrets! Okay. Then we are distracted by the turrets. Good to know, good to know. Got a carbonite turret here. Maybe it'll help take this thing down. <laughs> I love how it's like spraying carbonite on it. Oh, it is so cool! Isn't the guy go? This turret's down. Here, cool here that are no match for their own turrets. Haha, <laughs> take that. Using your own stuff against you. That's what I like. Alright, let's get to the assembly deck. Alright. Whoop! I'm gonna take down a rocket turret. Okay. Oh. 
I'll sit over here just because I know there's a little uh, medical service drug, which I love how they have this little symbol above them now. It makes it so much easier to see them, even though they weren't they weren't really hard to find. Anyways, oh, I, I love the the new the new look of the UI too when you mouse over objects. Ah, looks so good. All right, can't go through here. Gotta go this way. This way. Oh, there we go. Red means no, yellow means press buttons. Oh, I couldn't knock you out. Okay. Ooh, what is going on there? Oh, it's a turret for us. Okay. We've got a sentry turret here. The sky turrets are helping us fight. Cool. I really like that. Making this just that much a little bit easier. Whoop. Shred, uh, Shrena, Sh um, Shreniza? Varless? Security Commander. Uh, oh, I like it. I really like your armor. Can I has? Can I has your armor? Uh, let's put down a turret here. Oh, you're gonna go down pretty quick. I wonder if I can put carbonite on her though. Sure, I can. Oh, I can. Awesome. Go carbonite turret. Oh my gosh, that made it so much easier. These turrets are actually really powerful. Hold still! These turrets weren't built to be picky! Koth, is that really you? I don't like people who walk out on me, Koth. Feelings mutual. I still don't like what you've done. But stopping Arkin is all that really matters right now. So let's focus on that, okay? Your aim's improved. I've been practicing. That droid's still available, though. Okay, uh, it's still... What is it? The experimental assault unit. Why is it green right now? Oh, there we go. Now it's not green. Put down my turrets. Put down the carbonite turret. Put down the other turret. <laughs> Let's put down all the turrets. Then let's go for the kill. Oh, we can carbonate you too! Oh my gosh, that makes it so. That makes a carbonate turret really powerful. Oh, I do not like the look of all that red line. Let's get out of the red line here. Okay, so I kind of I thought something was gonna happen there. Okay. Gonna fire. Stop on top of there. He's on orbital bombardment here. Going that going over the eye here. I don't really have any range attacks that can reach that far. I don't think. Down the turret. Carbonite turret to uh, freeze you up a little bit. And then get out of here. We can play a little bomber man. I feel, better now. I feel fine. Take care of yourself. Okay, let's get in there. Oh, he's frozen. Yeah! Electrocute him. Haha! <laughs> Testing, testing, one, two, three, Commander. Come in. Shields are offline, nab some parts, should make a small fortune. I took out the guns. 
They could afford to up the security in this place. No time to rest. Kill everyone you come across. And take their stuff, right? Right. <laughs> Just kill everybody. Oh, Hosrath getting back to his Sith ways. I like it. I like those two characters. I hope nothing actually happens to them. Oh. Oh. That's like, where are the enemies? I don't actually see them. Next is Kyojiyo. Let's force choke you. Take that. Alright. Let's keep going. Oh, there's another one here. Yes, I'm still here. Uh, I haven't gone anywhere. I'm glad you're still here. Lana, you're the best. Alright, pair all, sell, jump. Little repair droids. Deal with the little guys. Alright, who's around this corner? Oh, I'm guessing that would be... Would have been a turret fighting us. But it's fighting for us. I was there for a moment. That was not doing me any favors, that's for sure. And I'm guessing those shields would... Yeah, those turrets would probably be... If I chose the armament side, those probably would be against me. I'm kind of glad I chose the turret part. Yeah, let's deal with you. <laughs> and knock you down. Done a rocket turret. And a portable carbonite turret. Let's use all my turrets. Although, <laughs> when they're inside each other, it's kind of funny looking. There we go. Uh, which one are you going? This way? No? Where am I going? Just straight this way? Is that a yellow one? Nope, it's a green door. Okay. Oh, another, uh, oh, another commander character here. Or, uh, elite or a champion. Sorry, words are fun. Dara Nadell. I love how the turret's gonna distract you, too. Oh, I don't like these fire line things coming in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Put down the missile turret. Put down the carbonate turret. Get frozen, get frozen. There we go. I guess I'm not taking damage from these, but I'm not too worried about it. I don't seem to be taking a lot of damage. <laughs> that was like a new round. No, not the carbonite one. Don't shoot the carbonite one. The carbonite one's my favorite. You're almost down low there, Dara. Dar is down. It shouldn't be too much further. Ow! I thought spies hit finesse. This cannon wasn't made for two people. Just move. Well, that's not good. What now? I've got good news and bad news. Which do you want to hear first? Theron, we don't have time. I'm an optimistic guy, so we'll start with the good. Arkin's fleet has stopped shooting at us. And the bad? They're about to fire on you. Oh, and the Omni Cannon's broken. Not my fault. This was Scorpio's plan all along. Get you and Arkin in one place to kill you both. When I get my hands on that droid... I'll help you deactivate her. 
It doesn't matter. Our plan remains the same. Defeat Arkan and destroy the flagship. This just speeds up our timetable a bit. Oh my gosh, Scorpio. Ugh. Plans within plans within plans. You probably let Archon control his part of the Eternal Fleet. Let them jump in. We'd attack Archon's flagship. And now the flagship's gonna get attacked by the Eternal Fleet that she's probably taking good back control of. Ugh. Scorpio, you and your plans? Too good, too good. Yes, I can't wait. I can't wait to destroy her. I hope they get to do that soon enough. Hope my other companions on this mission are doing alright. I'm gonna save these in case there's a boss battle coming up. Or a champion battle battle coming up, I guess. Yeah, we've got and Senya and Bet are doing just fine. Hopefully they can get off the ship or because we don't have a we don't have a shuttle to get off the ship anymore. Our shuttle broke too. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Alright. Thank you, shield or shielded oh sky turrets. These are sky turrets. Thank you, sky turrets. Make that battle so much easier. Still no word from Senya. She told us not to wait. I know, but her prolonged absence is worrisome. Uh oh. I don't like that you're worried about Senya. You're worried about Senya. Should I be worried about Senya? I don't want to be worried about Senya. You know, like the second second group just did nothing that whole time. Should be down there. Yeah, it will help. Thank you. I'm in carbonated though. Oh no. Oh boy, I am taking a lot of damage here. Let's actually use that to heal up a little bit. Just a little bit for our shield here. Down to 30 some percent. That's not good. I'd be mad at Lana for not doing uh, as much healing as she did, but she was frozen in carbonated also. Okay. Flagship bridge. Oh, we're headed to the bridge now. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Gonna have some probably some strong guards on the bridge. Probably some, some strong guards here. Or none. I was expecting more resistance there. Huh. Oh, there's Archon himself right there. <gasps> You need to go. Now. I'll handle the knights. There's too many of them. You'll be overwhelmed. Don't insult me. It's your destiny to defeat Arkham. Mine is to get you there. These better not be last words I'm hearing. Don't be so dramatic. I've faced worse than this. Now go. about you. It never has been. But I will do whatever it takes to destroy my father. You made it about me when you imprisoned me, stole years from my life, then tried to kill me on asylum. Your collateral damage, nothing more. Let Valkorion speak. I've sacrificed too much to be met with silence. 
I'd call him if I could, but it doesn't work like that. My patience is wearing thin, father. Answer me. Falcoian's mark on you runs deeper than I imagined. Proof that he is still tied to you. You cannot hide from me, father. Uh, now I'm gonna defeat Archon all on my own. Oh, and I get these cool abilities, Unity. Okay, gotta stay away from that. Oh my gosh, and don't have a companion. Uh, so I need to be. This is gonna be a tough fight. Like, so increase your damage. Sacrifice 25% of your life. Uh, only usable above 25% health. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, and this one absorb and reflect 10%. Damage. Let's do that. That's good for me. Get out of that red area. This is gonna be a tough one. Let's do it. Let's get more. Get more damage there. I'm getting health though, what am I getting healed from? You're different, stronger. How? You sound scared, Arkan. I had fear beaten out of me before I could walk. I'll show you how. Oh my gosh. Okay. Because I got my new lightsaber. It's pretty and awesome. You have a shield right now. Oh, what am I going to do? Point me over here. What's this? Oh gosh. Hopefully a night sh Oh, I got a shield now. Okay, uh, Razor Shield blocks ability use and slows movement speed. It lets you block or redirect. Oh, okay. Cool, 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 cool. Oh, I like there's so many mechanics of this fight already. Uh, oh, what's that? Oh, what's that? Disempowering Bash. Okay, we destroyed that one. Okay. Haha, <laughs> 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 blocked it just in time. Oh, do I have to have the shield equipped to do the bash? Okay, I do. Okay. Shoot me, laser thingy. Okay. Keep knocking them down, keep knocking them down. Ooh, that, that hurt a little bit. Get my shield up for that attack. Oh well. Oh boy. Okay, good. Block that. Thought it was gonna kill me or something like that. Oh, it's a force manifestation. That's what it's called. Okay. Okay, that force manifestation is destroyed. Arkin's down. 35%, that's really good. Shoot back up, block that force manifestation. Kind of cool if I could hit it into him or something like that. Okay. 
Uh, slender shield and grenade. Okay. Oh, oh, okay. Can I use that? And then, and then smash him. Oh, okay. Now I get it. Now I get it. Oh boy, the ship's falling apart, guys. Okay. Oh my gosh. Oh, am I going to be able to survive this? There we go. Whew. I was really worried I was gonna I'm gonna get killed there. Commander, the Omnican is back online. Good. I'm done here. Arkham's finished. I never doubted you. Bolt and Vert ran into some trouble, but we managed. We're at the shuttle. I can't get a hold of Senya. The ship is falling apart. You'll need to find another way back to the gravestone. I just defeated the Emperor of Zakul. I won't die now. There's a wing of patrol ships not far from the bridge. I'll target the fleet. Buy you as much time as I can. Oh my god, okay, now we gotta... Although we didn't actually see Archon kill. Throw it out there. We didn't actually see him dead. Alright, so let's, uh... Try to get out here. But that was a really cool, cool fight scene. I loved the mechanics going into that. That was actually pretty awesome. Uh, repair droids? Yeah, you guys can repair now. I don't care. You guys can, you guys can repair. That's cool. I wonder if I can find Senya in all this mess, too.
I wanted to save you. Too late. You're always too late. Valen, please. Come with me. What happened to Thexen? Arkin? I should have stayed. You were weak. You left us. You left me. I'm here now. I'll never be what you want. There's hope for you. For both of you. Come with me. Valen! Wait, Arkin's not dead. Senya's helping him. Valen's pissed. What is going on right now? Ugh. This, this, the last two chapters have really kicked this story into high gear, and I love it. Alright, so let's get after this ship, though. And Hotswiss is like, I'm just, I just need to get off the ship. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh, okay, good. Hoo, hoo, hoo. I thought we were going to die for a second. Uh, I don't want to run into any trouble here. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh boy. Take, take one of the ships, I don't care, just one of them. This is a cool looking fighter though, that's for sure. I'm clear. Theron, prepare the Omni Cannon. Lana, status update. We're on our way to the Gravestone. We waited for Senya as long as we could. I'm alive, but I won't be joining you. Tell me where you are. I'm in Arkin's personal shuttle. He's with me. Then the mission isn't over. Bring Arkham to the Gravestone, so I can finish this. Justice has been served. It's time for atonement. He saved my life. He can be redeemed. Let me help Arkham become the man he was meant to be. I won't let you do this! I'm taking him. She's in your firing range, Commander. Shoot them down. You'll kill them both. Senya, what are you doing? Saving my son. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Uh... 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 Oh, decisions! I don't like decisions sometimes. Um... What would Hazras do? Hazras would... Hazras would shoot them down. Redemption isn't an option for Arkham. Only death. No! 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 We let 
them get away! Forget about them. Scorpio still wants us dead. Focus on the fleet. Omni cannons ready to fire on your command. Do it. Let's go faster, let's go faster! Oh, that ball of energy could reach the planet, that'd be bad. Good, 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 good. That was a little close, Theron. Don't blame Theron. I took the shot. Cough? Nice seeing you again. Fun working together, even if Arkin and Senya got away. But that's not really why I came back. I'd love to stay and chat, but I've got a ship to steal. Your ship. What? You should have stayed away, Koth. And watch you destroy Zakul from the sidelines? You're free because of me. I've got to make this right. You can keep your crew, though. I've got my own. You never deserve the gravestone. Koth, don't do this. Koth. He's gone. The gravestone's gone. So I lost the gravestone. And Senya. Archon's still alive. What is going on? Ugh. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, Koth's back. Okay, he did something good. You know, Hosrassel. You know, maybe forgive him, because uh, he helped out. And then he steals the ship! What? What? Oh my gosh, well, I gotta... I'm like, I know I know it's uh, it's gonna be a longer episode, but I need, I need to finish this part. What? Oh, everyone's cheering me! Yeah! That's awesome! Everyone's happy and excited. Yeah! Yeah! I'm happy too! Yeah, good job, everybody. Good job, team. Imperials. The Coolians. Even the uh, Republic forces, you did a good job. What's going to be next for us? Valen's still somewhere. I'm sure she still she escaped somehow. Oh boy. Congratulations, Commander. It appears that once again you've done the impossible. We prepared for the worst, but there was no need. Those were some fireworks you made up there. I'm almost sad I stayed behind. It was a long road to get here, but you did it. Save your congratulations. We lost the gravestone. I never thought Koth would strike against us directly. Well, at least Arkin is out of the picture. He may have lost his throne and his fleet, but until Arkin is dead, he's still a threat. Arkin wasn't alone on that shuttle, remember? Senya was with him, and you tried to shoot it down. Senya made her choice. She betrayed us, just as Koth did. 
But right now we have more pressing concerns. Scorpio has proven to be more cunning than I imagined. She works alone. We're a team. Together the Alliance can take her down. Under your leadership, I believe it's more than possible. Your victory brought hope back to the galaxy. The Battle of Edessen has become a rallying cry for all who oppose the Eternal Empire. Word is spreading fast. Ever since the battle, Republic and Imperial forces have come pouring in to join our cause. If Scorpio, or anyone else, tries to attack Odessan again, we will be ready. You are ready. Oh, the Corian shows up finally. <laughs> I was expecting him to have a heart to heart with his son during that battle, which was such a cool battle. So many different little mechanics just popping up. I thought it was really fun. I hope, I hope more stuff, more battles like that. I want more like that. It is done, my lady. All of the Eternal Fleet obeys your command. Very good. Scorpio going to do with the Eternal Fleet? Mother, I am free. I choose the stars. High Justice Phelan, here to take back the Eternal Throne. I couldn't care less about an uncomfortable chair, but I deserve its power more than my brother. You did not come on his behalf, then? No, I... I'm here for me. I, too, have been forced to obey lesser beings who hindered my power and potential. It's suffocating, isn't it? Yes. I did not take the throne to rule the Eternal Empire, but to grant the Gemini droids, my children, free will. You don't want to control them? The ability to choose makes them stronger. Don't you agree? I do. Will you and your children stay? Of course. There is much I can teach you. We can start with how to destroy our enemies. Oh boy, I did not see this coming. Man, oh, that's so awesome. Okay, so that's the place on fire. Um, so Scorpio let the Gemini's who were there's like one of them in each of the Eternal Fleet ships let them f set them free essentially. Um, and Valen comes back. So Valen now rules the cool with Scorpio as an advisor. It sounds like because she's going to teach them. Oh my gosh, that's so awesome! Oh boy, 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 oh boy. Oh boy. Very excited about this. Oh, uh, let's exit. I don't know what was going on with that. I'm guessing that was going to start with the next um, chapter. I'm going to end in there, but oh my god. Okay, so so much happened. Uh, Archon's still alive, but not necessarily a bad guy. Senya took him away. Hosrath, again, 
I, I don't think trying to shoot them down would be good. I think that might come to bite us in the back, in the in the butt later. But um, that's clearly what Hosrath would have done. Hosrath is angry. Hosrath is sit. Of course, he would have tried to shoot them down. Um, I honestly was was thinking that they were they were going to die. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be killing them. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Um, so thankfully, uh, that did not happen. Uh, so they're still alive. Um, got a bunch of influence with everyone. Cost stole the gravestone. <gasps> and the gravestone's actually gone now. Oh my gosh, the gravestone's actually gone. Okay, the gravestone's gone. Koth has a gravestone. Valen's on the throne. Um, um, Scorpio's kind of leading the Eternal Fleet. Not controlling it, leading it. Archon and Senya are, have gotten away. Oh my gosh, I don't know what's going to happen next. I honestly don't know. So... Chapter 1, Wrath and Ruin, is going to be the next episode, but oh my god, I'm so excited. Uh, thank you guys so much uh, for watching this episode. I know it was a little bit longer. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, if you guys have any tips, tricks, strategies, anything like that, uh, let me know. Also, if there's any like little nuances with the new expansion uh, that I haven't noticed, uh, let me know. Like Little things like uh, UI tweaks and stuff like that, please let me know down below. I'd absolutely love to learn a little bit more. So thank you guys so much for watching this episode. If you want to join me in Star Wars Republic, I am playing on the Star Wars server. Uh, we do have a Discord uh, for the uh, channel. Hit me up in the, the links in the description below. Um, best way to join the guild also is to hit up in the Discord. And uh, me or if anyone else is online, uh, we can send you an invite. Uh, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this episode. And uh, as always, keep your stick on the ice.